when we're right at the beginning, whether that's a new career, a hobby, an activity or something we're trying to learn. Inevitably, we look at the people at the top of their game and wonder how it's possible that they achieved such greatness. It seems practically impossible as we gaze at these icons to understand how someone could ever reach such dizzying heights in that field. We tell ourselves, well surely that person was born with that talent. They were born with that ability. Surely it's not something that can be achieved. It must be divinely gifted. With trading and investing, this seems to be amplified even more because the markets can be brutal and it can feel like you're just not getting it right time and time again. And yet, you look at the people who have achieved what you want to achieve and they're enjoying the fruits of their labor. And there seems to be this huge gulf between the ordinary people and those who finally made it. But the truth is this, they all had to start somewhere. Uh, gave me a book on technical analysis, technical analysis of stock trends by McGee and Edwards. Tell me, read that. I read it. Go home, read it again. I read it. Go home, read it again. I read it. He goes, you're ready to trade. They were all amateurs once. I spent a lot of time at Baker Library just understanding, trying to understand, trying to learn about finance. They all had their struggles and their mistakes. I had two phenomenal learning periods where I lost everything. Like I had $10,000 and went down to zero. And then I made back like $20,000 and then went down to zero. Uh, and I remember... Are you just using these low numbers so we can understand? No, 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 this is when you're 22 years of age and it's 1978 or nine, that's just, you know, a gargantuan amount of money. I've made lots of mistakes. Uh, that's part of the game. I mean, there is no way in the investment business. Somebody says to you they never made a mistake. You know, check them out. They all had their moments where they felt overwhelmed. I had to let go. People who I love. This is eight years after I started Bridgewater. Wow. I was so broke that I had to borrow four thousand dollars from my dad in order to pay for my family bills. They had the same doubters and critics that you're going to see on your way as well. And I remember my father coming to me uh, on the third time uh, and said, you've got to get in something safe like real estate. Exactly. Uh, London. I said, no, I I'm going to stick with this. When I got out of the University of Nebraska, I applied to Harvard Business School. They told me I was to get interviewed in a place near Chicago. I got there and uh, he interviewed me for about 10 minutes and he said, forget it, <laughs> you're not going to Harvard. They had the times when everything felt like it was going wrong and they just couldn't get anything right and they thought to themselves, maybe enough is enough. You know, one day you walk in and you think you're a genius, God, all my positions are in my way, look, I'm a... and the next day you walk in and they're against you and you feel like you're, you're a dope, how could I have done what I did and so on. But the difference. The thing that really separated the greats from the goods, the greats from the not so greats and the people that gave up at the first obstacle. The difference is that they were able to embrace the failures and learn. If anyone told you that this was going to be easy, they were just being kind to you. Nothing was such great rewards, nothing was such self-fulfillment, nothing was such great potential comes without a struggle, without passion and without the need for pure dedication. So yes, it's going to keep being tough, but the blueprint has been laid out for you. Others have done what you're trying to do, and you can do it too. There will always be people telling you that you haven't got what it takes to succeed in this, that, or something else, but just make sure that those naysayers don't include you. Brush yourself off, embrace your failures, Learn from your mistakes and don't accept defeat. You've got this. Now let's get to work.